right, hello do-it-yourselfers. Uh, 2003 Avalanche, uh, the cruise control stopped working a couple of weeks ago, more or less concurrent with me getting new LED taillights. I was finally able to find the quick fix, but uh, I did uh, investigate some other issues that I thought I'd pass along. Put it all in one spot in case you're having trouble finding the answers. Uh, first place I looked was this underhood unit. You can see it uh, right there, two electrical connectors on the bottom, three screws. Uh, run about $140 at uh, Rock Auto. I'd had some issues in the past with the cruise control not working when the uh, car had been sitting a while and it had been raining, so I thought maybe water infiltration into that unit could have been an issue. Uh, it was not in this case, but went ahead and replaced it anyway. Again, that's the electronic uh, throttle control, which is a part of the cruise control system. Next thing we took a look at See, I'm uh, just in the uh, driver's uh, side here, the wheel wheel brake. Run up the brake pedal, and you'll see at the top of the brake pedal. Uh, let's see if we can get a better view of that. There it is, right there. That is the brake switch. That essentially sends electronic signals that the brakes are being applied or not applied. Again, uh, that was not uh, the issue in this case, but I'm given to understand from a lot of folks on YouTube that that particular switch uh, can be an issue if it goes bad on you. Pretty easy. Uh, it took about five minutes. Just be careful when you pop that uh, retaining clip off. Uh, I had to look for mine for about another five minutes before I found it. So uh, keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't go where you don't want it to. And finally, uh, there's the offending pair of LED taillights. Uh, they look great, and they've got a lot of internal electronics. You would think that they would have put some resistors in to solve some of the issues, but uh, I don't think they did. Uh, this is the right side unit, which is the one the cruise control actually looks at, specifically the right side brake wire. So, uh, once you pull the unit out, again, screws are here and here. You get down to here. Uh, this is your uh, backup light, internal electronics for the unit. Uh, the Avalanche, of course, a little bit unique. In the earlier years, you actually had two uh, tail lights. One was for the turn signal and one was for the brakes. So. This lower one is actually for the turn signals. Uh, this one is the one that is for the brakes. What you're going to want to do is put an inline resistor wired in parallel uh, on the brake line, which in uh, the Avalanche's case is this green wire. That's the positive wire goes to the brake line, and the black wire is the ground. It's a common ground. So, real simple. Uh, this is the unit that I bought at AutoZone. Strip the ends to the appropriate lengths and attach one to the uh, brake wire and one to the ground and then go ahead and uh, wrap them all up. Now you can use the inline splices if you like. I uh, chose to go ahead and uh, basically just strip a little bit of the wire with some uh, wire cutters and wired it in that way and then uh, taped everything up real nice. And you can see there's the resistor. Uh, they recommend going ahead and uh, mounting it to a metal surface just because they can get hot uh, when they are uh, getting electricity put through them. And I did ops test that. Uh, it did get uh, fairly hot. So went ahead and mounted it to the uh, wheel well away from the rest of the wiring. Go ahead and uh, Put that back together. And re-secure the screws. Took it out on the road and ops tested it. And lo and behold, the cruise control is working great again. So again, that is the right tail light, the brake line specifically going to the right tail light needs to have an inline resistor wired in parallel 
and that should fix your uh, cruise control issue if you've recently installed these uh, LED tail lights.